Since the disaster, every TV camera has been pointing in the same direction. It's hideous, but it's hard to divert your gaze. But if you turn the camera around, you get a totally different picture of life in the royal borough of Kensington and Chelsea. Just up the road, many houses are worth tens of millions of dollars. Hundreds are empty, bought as a tax dodge by rich foreigners. The opposition Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, suggested these empty homes could be used to house those made homeless by the fire. But ask people here about that, and answers are less than enthusiastic. I'm not going to talk about it. There are, but this is a very... A, a street with mixed housing in it. All right. And, and um, there are no empty properties. I know there are a lot of um, empty properties, but uh, it, it's not really my concern. It is, isn't it? No. No. Of course, it's true that very many from the wealthy part of the borough have donated food and supplies to their dispossessed neighbours on the estate down the road. But a short distance still feels a world apart. This is the London of jolly old England, of films like Mary Poppins, bound up in concepts like the class system. And, of course, one of the central complaints from the people who live in the estate down there is that the people up here didn't like looking at them. And so the council put the cladding on the side of Grenfell Tower to make it look less ugly. It turned out that cladding was flammable. The anger, the sheer rage of many around the estate is better understood when you see life here compared to life nearby. Time and again, people tell you how it's one set of rules for the rich and another for them. Different world up the road, completely different, and they don't care about us. They don't care about us. Do you think and that's that the reason shows. for some of the anger? That and that demand? shows. Yeah. Look at it. If Buckingham Palace went up, that's in this borough, military would have been out with helicopters putting that out. Look at that building. Look at it. It's gutted. It's gone. That would never happen in that side of the borough. Never. The ex-Prime Minister of England is two, two roads away from Cameron. That. Cameron. Yes. David Cameron down yes. there. Yeah, does. Uh, Mr Michael Goh, Education Minister, three roads away on Barbie Road. Uh, Osborne, up here, ten minutes away. This to happen in England, in London, in London, in this 21st century day and age, is an embarrassment for all of them. Those people, I don't even know how they're sleeping right now. People are even suspicious of the announcement of the government's inquiry into the fire. They suspect it's a delaying tactic. Trust in authority has gone up in smoke. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Kensington.